We are here to continue to talk about mean mode and medium. Uh, but now we're going to have a look at some frequency tables, okay? And yes, we're going to calculate the mean mode and the median. And what do I have here? It says the dice was rolled a hundred times. And this is the frequency table. Yeah? What is the mean? What is the mode? What is the median? And the range. And in the end we have the question, do you think it's a fair dice? Yeah? Now, a very common mistake made is the following. If you have to calculate the mean, some of you will say, oh well, that is going to be 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 plus 6, and that divided by the amount of values, 6. But you don't have 6 values, you have 100 values. Because what does this frequency actually mean, uh, this table? It means I have a 1, 1, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, and then I have 2s, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, uh, 10, and then I have 3s, yeah, and you can go on and on and on. But rather than having a hundred of these individual pieces of information, they nicely organize that for you in a frequency table. But you have to realize that these are 12 pieces of information, and these are 10 pieces of information, and these are 42 pieces of information. So now to calculate the mean, we know that that is the sum of all the values divided by the total amount of values. So in the past, you would say, so one plus one plus one plus one plus one, yeah, and then at the end divided by the total amount of values. Now with a frequency table, I'm not going to do 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 here 12 times. No, I will say, just as a shortcut, so I have 12 times a 1, yeah, and I have, how many 2's do I have? 10 times, indeed, I have a 2. And how many 3's? Again, 10 times a 3. How many 4's? 42 times. A four. This is not going to fit. I'm going to continue here. How many fives? 18 times a five. And how many sixes? Um, eight times a six. Yeah. And all of that. How many pieces of information do I have? Well, I have a hundred rolls. So all of that I have to divide by a hundred. Okay. And before I calculate it. Yeah, if I roll a dice, the lowest value is a 1, the biggest value is a 6. So the mean has got to be somewhere between 1 and 6. Yeah? And everything else, a number less than 1 or a number larger than 6, doesn't make sense. Yeah? So if I get an answer like that, I've made a silly mistake somewhere. Okay? Now let's have a quick look. Uh, 12 times 1 is 12 plus, that is 20 plus, uh, 30 plus. 168 plus that is 90 plus of uh, 48 and all of that divided by a hundred now it's been a long day for me I've been teaching all day and now I'm here with you so I'm gonna be a little bit lazy and grab my calculator now 12 plus 20 plus 30 plus 168 plus 90 plus 48 equals 368 368 divided by the amount of values which are 100. So my mean is 3.68. Now that makes sense, yeah? somewhere between 1 and 6. And if I have a quick look, most of my values are around the 4. So yeah, I would expect, and the rest a little bit less, I would expect something around that 4. So 3.68 is a beautiful answer, okay? So important now is to realize that with a frequency table, these are 12 ones, and these are 10 twos, and 10 threes, and 42 fours, and 18 fives, and eight sixes. But rather than to write it all down like this, and you see all these numbers, and you just get scared looking at it, they say, no, we organize it for you. But you need to realize that it's 12 times a one plus, 10 times a two plus, 10 times a three, yeah? All right, good. Now, what about the mode? Which number? is most popular, okay? And the mode, sorry, I'm gonna put here 3.68, that was the answer, isn't it? And the mode in this case is the four, yeah? Because the four is most popular, it occurs 42 times. So do not say the mode is 42, no. The frequency is 42, which 
is a score of four, so the mode is four. Okay. Now, uh, the median, well, there are several ways of doing this. Uh, first of all, of course, I could write the whole thing out and then cut myself away inwards, but I'm not gonna do that, that's a waste of time. There are ways to calculate it when you have a frequency table, but personally, um, I do it uh, like this. I kind of imagine this long row of all these numbers, 100 pieces of numbers in a big long row. And then I say, well, I gotta go to the middle and I'm gonna take the first 12 numbers from the beginning away. Yeah? So I'm cutting uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, uh, 12 of those numbers, but I have to do the same on the other side. So that is eight and another four here. So I'll have 14 left. Okay, and then I'm going to take another, let's say, 10 numbers away here at the beginning. So I have to do the same at the end, so I have four numbers left. Then I'll take another 10 numbers away there, and I have to do the same at the end. So four, and I have to take another six, so I have 36 left. And because I only have fours now, so I have all this, this mass bunch of fours in the middle, I can already say, if I cut myself away inwards, my median is going to be a four. That's going to be that value in the middle. All right, good. Now, what about the range? The range is that highest value, take away the lowest value. Well, the highest value, what is the highest value? Careful now, indeed, it's a six. And the lowest value is, therefore, a one. The range is five. Okay, now, finally, very quickly, it's a probability question. Yeah, but do you think this is a fair dice or is it biased? Well, I would say it's biased then because, um, the four occurs 42 times, yeah? Now, of course, this is an experiment, yeah? Uh, and you're not gonna get an even amount of ones as twos, as threes, as fours, okay? But this relative, or this experimental probability is so much different than a theoretical probability. Well, because what is the chance of rolling a four? That's one out of six, yeah? So with 100 rolls, you would expect like 16 or 17 of each number. Now, of course, you can have 25s, yeah, or you could have 12 uh, threes, but to have 42 of one particular amount, while well, you would expect 16 or 17, nah, that doesn't make sense. Eh? Now, this is a biased dice, okay, so it's not fair. Okay, but that was on the side. Mean, very important with frequency tables that you understand it, the mode, the median, hopefully I've shown you a way to do that uh, relatively easily, and the range, you know what it is by now. Okay, uh, I'll see you at the next video.